How's it going everyone? This is Mr. Morales. In today's video we're going to do three things. We're going to look at constants, which are values that don't change. Uh, number two, we're going to modify a string to uppercase using the dot to uppercase method. And number three, we're going to add double quotes to your string. So let's get to it. So in this program what I want to do is I want to have two text boxes. The first one is going to be, we're going to change this, so we're going to go line 23, let's change first number, we're going to change it to first name, uh, input type, we'll leave it as text, ID, we'll use it, we'll call it F name box, okay, and our second text box, we will call it wage, and let's do wage per hour okay and you know it's cool to copy and paste so I will copy this paste down here to line 25 we just have to remember to change the ID we'll change the ID to wage box okay So now we have two uh, two text boxes. One will take first name, the other one will take the wage. And if you want to take a look at what we have, let's refresh. So this is what we have so far. So what we want to do is have the user type in the first name, have them type in uh, the wage. Okay, so let's code the clear text function first. That's really easy. So let's look at uh, line 10. It says um, we're clearing message. So we'll leave that the way it is because message is already here at the bottom. That's for your output. Line 11, get element by ID first. That doesn't exist anymore. We called it f f name box. So let's change that to F name box. Let's change the, se the third item to wage box. Okay, so now our clear function is good. Now let's go to line number seven for our change text. Okay, I pressed the tab a couple times here. Let's start by creating a variable by the name of wage let's go to document dot get element by ID and we will be using the wage box value okay so you've seen something like this before we're basically obtaining um, the value from the wage box whatever the person types in and we're saving it into the variable called wage mm, I'm gonna do the same thing for first name I'll create my, ver my uh, variable called first name we'll get the document that get element do document that get element by ID okay so what we'll do here is we'll just copy and paste it's okay to copy and paste guys but this we have to make sure to change certain things this time we're doing F name box okay so we're obtaining the items from the text boxes okay now I'm gonna do something interesting here I'm gonna create a uh, variable called message and this variable is gonna be a string and what I'm gonna type in my string is comma and I'm gonna put your earnings and so the first thing I'm gonna do here is suppose I want to have uh, quotation marks within my string so this is a, a problem that a lot of programming languages have how do you do that because we're already using double quotes to create the string itself because if I 
put, let's say I want to, I want to double quote the word R, you know, it's already causing mistakes there. This is, does not, this does not look correct. This doesn't look right. Okay. So in other words, I'm just going to write something here. You know, I really I want this to come out in in my code, but this is going to cause mistakes. See, there's these double codes. It's not capturing everything. So the way I solve that problem, and you guys can experiment on this and play around with that. But the way I solve this problem is in order to add quotes within within your string is you have to do the slash double quote and then whatever you want to put in quotes okay okay so let's take a look at this so this will the, the ones in the ends let you know that this is a string and these let these uh, slash with the quotes let you know that the word R is going to be in double quotes okay so let's save that and as a matter of fact let's do an experiment here oh press enter a couple times here so what I'm going to do is um, let's take out the caps lock let's do a document dot get element by ID let's manipulate the message um, paragraph tag the message paragraph tag and now we're going to put inner HTML equals um, message okay so I'm gonna save that so this is it. we're gonna experiment here so what's going on is uh, I'm just gonna output my output is gonna be this message this variable message here let's just take a look to see how this looks like and all I'm gonna do is press submit and it doesn't work okay so let's find out why okay I think my problem is right here got to put a semicolon. Let's save it. Let's try it one more time. Refresh. Here we go. So notice how my output has that double quotes that I was talking to you about. So let's suppose I was trying to do it without the slashes. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's clear it. Oops. Refresh. And it doesn't work. Okay. So it needs to have those slashes. So that's what we need to do in order for it to work. So that's how you create double quotes around a string okay or text within a string quotes in text within a string okay let's move on to the next item okay next item let's move to line 10 here and so now what I'm gonna do is create a const a constant this is a, a variable well it's not a variable because it, a constant does not change it stays the value stays the same so that's the difference between a constant and a variable but it is a, a placeholder it is holding some type of value and uh, within this name which is uh, I'm gonna call it hours and it's a constant because you know 40 hours a week is the standard for full-time you know, full-time job. So that's what a constant is. A, 
and in, in JavaScript we just call it const and as you notice it's a keyword that um, changes color uh, in that way okay and so I have this value called hours um, actually the value is 40 okay so it resembles 40 hours okay let's do so let's put it all together here let's create another variable called result and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this first name that I'm in my variable that I'm getting here and I am going to use the to uppercase method all right So notice, notice what I'm doing here. Let's see. Here, let's just do a little experiment here. Okay. So notice what I'm going to do here is I'm going to capture the first name, and I'm going to convert it to uppercase using this method. Um, and now, how do I know it's a method? Well, think of a method as like a verb, and you're applying, and you know it's a verb because it has these double, these uh, parentheses, and you're applying some type of action. That's what a method is. You're applying some type of action to a noun. So think of it as like a sentence, like in like grammar or like English class. And so you have your noun, your person, place, or a thing. In this case, its first name and then we put a period and then we put a an action okay which is a method so now what I'm doing the action that I'm applying to on the first name is that I'm converting uh, all the all the letters in this in this value I'm converting them to uppercase okay and then I'm saving it in a variable called result and then in the next line of code I'm just going to output result. So let's save it and let's go here, let's refresh. So first name I'm just going to put, you know, Morales. So if this works, it'll be all uppercase and it works fantastic. So let's go back to our code. So now we know what a method is and how to apply it to a variable or um, you know in this case it's going to be a string variable okay let's continue with our line of code so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add I'm going to concatenate a message which is that's not another string and then I'm going to You've seen some of this stuff already. I'm going to parse. Oh, actually, do I need to do that? Yes, I do. Okay, yeah. I'm going to parse the float, which is wage. So I'm obtaining the wage, but it's a string, so I need to parse it to convert it to a, um, a number that I can work with, that I could do math on and then I'm gonna multiply that with hours and then I will end my line of code there and then my last line of code let me see yes I'll leave it the way it is so I think I'm done with my little program here so let's find out let's check out what it what it does here okay refresh well, actually, first name is not Morales. That's my last name, so I'll put my first name here. Wage, I don't know. Let's just put, uh, what, $50 an hour. So when I click Submit, Daniel, your earnings are 2000 All right, fantastic. So here's what my program does. It does what I wanted it to do. Um, 
the three things were values, uh, constants, values that don't change, uh, modifying a string to uppercase, and adding double quotes to your string. And just as an added bonus, we kind of did what we did before, which is do, did some multiplication. Okay, guys, so um, that's a cool little video there on how to do some neat things with JavaScript. See you guys in the next video.